Hi, I'm Kevin with Audio Builders Workshop, and today we're going to take a look at the JLM Audio LA500A. All right, let's dive in. The JLM LA500A is based off of compressors like the LA2A and LA3A, which makes it useful on a lot of sources, and you can get some interesting sounds out of it, for sure. So you can see it's nicely packaged, all in separate bags and include some stickers and some notices about how the instructions are available online for all of these kits. Set that aside. So we'll dive in here. So each bag generally has a listing of the parts included inside the bag. You can see here. And if we look at the other parts in the box, have what looks like a faceplate here. Faceplate of the finished unit. Continue working here. You have this wonderful VU meter, which is labeled as a JLM audio part. You can see it's right in the front of the faceplate here. We have a nice, big, heavy <laughs> transformer that slots in. There you are. And the base plate for assembly. So as you can see as I worked my way through, the packaging is very well thought out for getting all of this into this box in a way that makes sense, in a way that as you work your way out, you have the parts you need to assemble. So here you have some notes on each of the bags about where to place the parts. You have one of the PCBs here nicely laid out. And guides for building all of these are available at JLM Audio. If you go to their forum, there's guides and discussions about how all these parts should go, where they should go on the PCB, assembly methods, what tools to use, and comments from people who have built them before. So here you are, the LA500A kit from JLM Audio. Thanks for watching Audio Builders Workshop.